Okay, now we continue on our journey. Um, the best armor class people go in the front in single file. Let's confirm. She's armor class two with 12 hit points and he's armor class one. So he should really be at the front. We'll keep both of them up at front. As you direct. We are off to Nashville. Remember, in the last episode, Jahir and Khalid wanted to go to Nashville. To, um, we're investigating the iron shortage. Nashville is south. In fact, let me pause it. We can go to the map. This. World map. So if you look down here, Nashville is down here. So we just need to go straight down through Barragost. Keep on going down to Nashville. Escape gets me out of that. Escape again gets me to here. Now you see, if we go As this we way, we can follow the way that we originally came to avoid fighting stuff. Uh, can I help you? We'll use the bow. Nature servant awaits. Sling. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. For the fallen! <laughs> Take that! And the wolf didn't even make it to us. It's good as done. If you hug the left side of the map, I think we'll be able to avoid most stuff. On the other side of the map, for example, there's an ogre where if we went to the top floor of the Friendly Arm Inn, we'd get a quest to get some stuff from that ogre. Enemy sighted. Where is there an enemy sighted? There. Exposing How's them one at you? a time. Because we're using missile. Oh dear. You have need of me? Oh, my heart's really not in this. If none are better. You've a task as you direct. Cue to quick save it. And travel to the town of Barragast. What do you need? Golan Ven. Need directions. You seem a friendly sort. So I thought I'd offer my services as a guide. What do you need from the town of Baragat? You know, we should go to the smith and see if he has a katana. I need some well-made weapons and armor. Do you have a good smithy? He says, Golan Ben says, we have the best smithy in all the realms. Terom Thunderhammer, Furium, runs the Thunderhammer smithy in the eastern side of town. He has a few exceptional items as well, though you could also check fell posts in. They carry trophy items, though you would best be rich as kings. Fell posts in, is in the west, closer to the south edge of town. All right, thanks for your help. And Golan Ben says, no problem, friend. Enjoy your stay. Or the group. Okay, so we'll head to the east side of town. Anybody else around here? A little help, please?
Of course, what do you need? There's bandits. Vicious, magic bandits. And they must have gone to advanced bandit school or something. They're trying to capture me. Very well. I shall defend you from these bandits. My hero. Now where are the rest of your men hiding? <laughs> I'll be honest. I was betting on you having a legion of soldiers because you'll need it and... Oh goodness, they're here! In dialogue. So, you would try to hide from us behind this unfortunate fool. Your cowardice proves as deadly as your reckless magic. You're the one trying to capture me! And I still don't know what you want, so I'd rather not let it happen. Get out of here before me and my new friends decide to eject a fist into your mouth! You there, stand aside and give me the girl. Surely you won't risk your life for a stranger. I won't let you harm her. By what right do you hunt this woman? By my right as a wizard of Fae. We must study her anomalous power, whether or not she comes willingly. Let me guess, by study you mean dissect? You shall not be privy to my methods. It is none of your concern, and she is a danger to both herself and others. Hand her over now, or I shall cut you down. Come and take her, if you dare. If you wish to die for this wild mageling, so be it. Away with you, you pompous creep! Hey, Kendall, where did you go? We can't let her escape. Slaughter them all, and we'll sort this out once we find him. All right. You got three in the middle. Theophilus. Yes. Um. Uh, At your service. Let's take out the wizard first. Nature servant away. Uh, yes? Huh, you're a queer fellow. Okay, I will un... I see I have arrows on all of them and, and the bullet. Let's do it. Okay, he went to her, so yes, she's gonna oh, switch to the club to fight him. Oh, hello. I'll run fast. What is it? Indeed. Can I help you? Let's move him to here. You call? She has cure light wounds as a druid. Yes, of course. You have need of me? Hey, now At he will shoot the wizard. What she will run away I from this person. This. 
nature servant awaits. Okay. Yes, she killed oh, him. Now she me. goes to the bullet and goes back on the wizard. Yep. She draws this guy away. Oh dear. Yeah. Actually, she'll shoot. Okay, the wizard is down. Now everybody focuses on this guy. Oh, hello. The best defense is an overwhelming offense. Uh, I'm getting weaker. I'll need a healer as soon as possible. Nature servant awaits. She will cure my wounds on him. I think everybody's handled. I am really, 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 really sorry about what just happened. I didn't want to involve you, but if I hadn't run into you when I did, they'd be elbow deep in my brains right now. Um, no apology is necessary. I was merely doing what any honorable person would do. Since you were kind enough to save me from those wizardly thugs, I was wondering if I could stay with you for a while. For your protection, as well as mine. I swear, I'm quite a skilled spellcaster. I can hurl a fireball like you wouldn't believe. Very well, your company would Fantastic. be appreciated. Let me just get my... Well, nothing. I'm ready to go now. End dialogue. Okay. Uh-huh. She's got a gem bag. We'll move the gem bag to Imowen. Oh, and it's got some gems. All right. Um. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. This wizard had nothing on him. Huh, you're a queer. F I'm gone. Well, we can sell the long swords. I can, but I'm try. not going to even bother picking up the leather armor. You've a task as good as done. Cue to quick save. Head into the smithy. This is Thunderhammer's smithy. As you direct. Kiss me, Blarmy. What you wish done? Look at what you have for sale. All right, I see no katana, but um, I can sell that leather armor. I'll sell these two long swords. Okay. Oh, Nira. What is it this time? Well... We're going to drop Nature her off. servant awaits for the group.
Or the crew. We'll drop her off after we get to Nashville. This is the Jovial Juggler Inn. As you direct. It's timber smart enough without he bother on me. Girk says I, so everyone's heard. Everyone's a rubbernecker then, is that it? Old Girk had his famous cloak stolen right off his back by a batch of poultry task boy. Yeah, yeah, it's old news, and if you make one crack about the cloakwood being an appropriate place to lose it, at least I'll put your liver on the menu. Now move on and let the next people in line have their laugh. Okay, our journal was updated. All right, let's see, she yes, has... Yes, oh, omnipresent authority figure. An entangle and two cure light wounds. So... We're gonna rest. Do you have a task? So we speak with him. As you direct. Oh, let's see what she has memorized. Okay, uh, now's Reckless Dwomer. Um, Nature servant always good as done. I got some cheap beer for you. Alright, we will um do the royal. Okay, rent. You see, everybody's healed. Done. Time saver. All right, let's head to Nashville. As you direct. All right, cue to save. And now we head to the left side of the map again. And we will follow along the left edge. And you see now this is exposed. Tap that to go back. All right. As you direct. Now, Nashville is south, so we'll head south along the edge. Almost to Nashville. Travel. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. All right, wolves. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Focus on this one. You've a task? C can I help you? Hmm? What you want? Uh-huh. All right, everybody has something that they're doing and hit the space bar. My blade will cut you down to size. All right, you see they're both up here. Nature servant awaits. She will move to fighting this guy. Oh, take that! I'm not certain. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. She'll heal herself. Oh, 
Move attack. Okay, now everybody click the lower right hand to select all and then put it on the wolf. And we'll continue on our As journey. Okay, now cue to quick save. And let's see if it's we can head to the left again. Me. I might catch something. Lord Foreshadow. Well, don't you just add to the local color. Quite the smashing bit of dress you wear there. I'll have to look into such sundries when I next attend one of Lord Ribold's full dress costume affairs. I'd be the talk of Neverwinter. I would. Remember, people, there's another game called Neverwinter. Um, am I to understand you're from that faraway city? Lord Foreshadow says, Oh, I actually hail from Waterdeep. The great city of splendors has much more in the manner of social luxuries suited towards my particular taste. I do, however, make a point of keeping in touch with Neverwinter though I have only visited once previously. It was quite popular in those nights. If I recall correctly, I'm going to make a second trip in the coming year, and I'll wager it will be as popular again. And dialogue. Okay, cue to quick save. Oh, I cannot save, because he's leaving. Cue. All right, and... Nashville. There used to be a sneaking kobold for this. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely behind you, the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorai would not have you sit idle, however, and perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashville mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Okay. No kobold. Used to be, used to have a kobold. All this animation. traveling, all this adventure, how do you manage it? <laughs> Until now, I was barely able to keep my head above water. Yet here with you, it seems almost easy. Easy? We face our share of danger, Nira. Oh, well, yes, there's obviously that. I just meant that ordinary things are easier. I'm not constantly worried where my next meal is coming from, or whether a kobold will sneak up and slit my throat as I sleep. And that was your life before we met? Yes. Rocks for a pillow, eating clay, all that and more. My fortune seems to have come in ways. 
as ever since by Forrest. Hi, Forrest. Is that where you come from? That's me, born and raised in the thicket. At least until my mistakes piled up high enough to come crashing down on me. What drove you out of your home? You know, this and that. I was never a very good student of magic, and part of that can be attributed to never studying. I ended up flubbing a few spells, and uh, here I am. It would appear that you glossed over some of the finer details. A maiming or two, if you don't count the second degree burns. Completely accidental, and everybody lived. Well, at least I'm pretty sure everybody lived. Accidents happen, even horrible ones. You really know how to get someone to open up. Why, yes, let me just share intimate details about my past. <laughs> you put me right at ease. Uh, take your time. Tell me when you're ready. During our magical training, we were supposed to summon a sphere of fire. And mine got away from me somehow. One moment I was concentrating, the next moment my classmates were rolling on the floor screaming. Mm, perhaps your poor teachers are the ones to blame. No, I did it. It was my fault. Accident or not, I should have been more careful. I could have taken responsibility or fetched a bucket of water. Instead, I ran away, terrified of what I'd done. I can understand why you might panic in that situation. Mira says it's kind of you to put it that way. There are times when I wanted to think that way. It was confusing and I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Still, afterwards I ran into the woods and couldn't bear to go back to face the consequences. I snuck back into the village now and then for food and once to leave a note for my parents. But eventually I had to leave. I took to wandering high forest, but I kept running into the wrong people and doing the wrong thing. Eventually Turling the tree and grabbed me and said, take a hike. Well, maybe not in those words exactly. Ah, and so you left on your journey. And so I left high forest. I've been wandering for a while now. I've got a few ideas for a destination, but I'm still considering them. Come, let us continue this journey together. Okay, uh, now my journal at the top uh, says speak to the mayor. If you look, um, journal, with your, oh, let's see, mm. how the iron shortage or the trouble in Nashville could possibly blink to me, I have no idea. Cities are always so intimidating. There's so All right, many I don't people. see it. But I know we need to speak to the mayor here. As you direct. I'll speak to the mayor and then I'll save it. Stand away, citizen. Bardolin says, identify yourselves. I say I am Theophilus and this is my band of fellow adventurers. I hear that this is a troubled region of late. Allow me to put ourselves at your disposal during our stay here. Bardolin says, if you're seeking to resolve troubles, welcome. If you're seeking to cause them, kindly take it elsewhere. Things are not good here, Theophilus. So I say, what things aren't good? All I have heard are rumors and vague suspicions. Bardolin says, I, what is good around here anymore? Our iron is rotten and there is talk of demons in the mines. The lower levels have been all but abandoned until this crisis passes. And then there is the question of Commander Bragg, Ak. They have stripped him of that title, but I use it yet. He killed his wife and children in a rage one night, and all who saw him. Then he tore himself away and headed for the hills. He is out there still, and still we mourn. As much for him, as for those he's taken. Fie on you now. You brought tears to the eyes of a soldier. Okay. I'm gonna go to the mayor. 
we'll speak to him and then we will save the game and pick up from there. For the glory of Arm! Baron Gaskell says, hello there. I recognized you here in your group. So you must be the adventurers I was expecting. I am Baron Gaskill, Mayor of Nashkel, and I am happy to welcome you. I am sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. So I say, what exactly is the trouble here? Baron Gaskill says, I can't believe you haven't guessed. Have you heard of the iron shortage? Well, Nashkill is in the thick of it. Our mines are all but shut down because the workers continually go missing. And what ore we do get is tainted somehow. I would send in the town guards, but we need them to protect our citizens from the bandits that raid our caravans. We need you to find out what is wrong in the mines southeast of town. So I tell him I will do what I can. He says, thank you. You will be the toast of the town if you can help and dialogue. So I will save the game under progress. And thank you for watching. We'll pick up from where we left off.